Hi, it's Toronto's real estate team at Remax, and here is our February 2019 Toronto real estate market report. February sales numbers were low. So low, they were the second lowest since 2001. I'll comment more on that in this broadcast as we go through the market report. So let's review some of the Toronto real estate board statistics and see what's happened. Sales were down 2.4% for February compared to last year, with 5,025 houses and condominiums changing hands in all the districts. This was the lowest number of sales for the month since 2009, and the second lowest since 2001, 18 years ago. Condo townhouse and high-rise suites took a significant 37.3% share of the market, with 1,876 units being sold. The February average sale price for all GTA homes came in at $780,397. This was a very modest 1.6% increase from one year ago. The active listing inventory is one of the strongest indicators of how slow or fast the market has been moving. The inventory average for the month of February compared to historical numbers increased by 3.3% but was flat compared to last year at this time. This is actually a good sign since we're not being overwhelmed with high inventory levels and is probably keeping us from seeing a slump in prices in some GTA locations. The sales to listings or percent chance of selling ratio is how we determine what type of market we're actually in. 24 to 28% is a neutral market. Below 24% is a buyer's market and above 28% is a seller's market. In February, that ratio finished at 37.8%, slightly below last year. The GTA overall is barely into seller market territory, so sellers may need to adjust their pricing expectations if they want to make a move. The days on market average for GTA slash Toronto homes was 25 days, 8 days faster than January. So let's look at what's happening in the downtown Toronto condominium market. West of Young and south of Bloor in the CO1 Treb district, the average sale price for February was $683,054. That average moved up 7.6% from the same time last year. With 252 condo sales in the month, the numbers were down 15% compared to 2018 and back to 2015 levels. There were 426 active listings on the market in February the same as last year and significantly lower than prior to 2017. The ratio of sales to listings increased to 59.2%, which keeps CL1 in busy seller's market territory. The average days on market came in at 19, six days faster than last month. Now east of Young and south of Bloor in the CO8 Treb district, the average sale price for January was $697,593. That number was up 5.4% compared to 2018. And with 117 condo sales in the month, the numbers were up 14% from last year. There were 199 active listings on the market in February, up 35% from 2018. The ratio of sales to listings was a higher 58.8% for the month. That number puts CO8 into a busy seller market territory. The average days on market came in at 20, one day slower than last month. Here's a snapshot summary of the significant real estate milestones for Toronto in February 2019. It looks like we are close to mirroring last year's sales results. We saw the second lowest number of February sales since 2001 at 5,025, 18 years ago. And the ratio of sales to listings was 37.8% in February. This is just barely into seller market territory. Also, the average sale price came in at $780,397, which was up just 1.6% compared to February 2018. TREB is petitioning to the government to relax the mortgage stress test financing rules from one year ago, which have seriously impacted our market. Note that this overall market average was 11% lower than two years ago in February 2017. Overall sales in the month were down 2.4% from one year ago, 
and the GTA real estate market overall averaged the days on market at 25, the same as last year. Detached home sales in February 2019, with a purchase price over $2 million at 101, were down 9% from last year at 110. Affordability considerations are now shifting the market more to a condominium lifestyle. Condo sales took a 37.3% share of the total market. Downtown condo active listing numbers were flat in CO1 and up in CO8 by 34.5% from last year at this time. And February sales were down 15.2% in CO1 and higher by 13.6% in CO8 compared to 2018. The downtown condo days on market average was 19 to 20 days, five days faster than the overall market. And the ratio of sales to listings for condos downtown were closely matched in CO1 at 59.2% and in CO8 at 58.8% due to the increased listing inventory in CO8, but still higher than in the overall market. Building on this higher demand due to better affordability, Condo appreciation in the two main downtown markets averaged 5.4 to 7.6% year over year, slower than at any time in 2018. Markets in York Region and other 905 neighbourhoods have suffered the most from the market slowdown. All York Region communities are continuing to show that they are in serious buyer market territory. Expect sales and inventory to pick up as we progress into the spring market in March through May and June where listings and buyers are most active. Buyers should watch for more pricing opportunities to get the condo or house of their dreams. This month we're looking at the stats for the Toronto Real Estate Board showing sales over the past four years. Sales have been virtually flat for both January and February compared to 2018. We've been fortunate in a way that inventory levels have not substantially increased across the board, with just a few exceptions in some TREB districts. This has kept away a downward pressure on prices. Unless something changes to the government's financing regulations, we're predicting that this year's sales will closely match those of 2018, with a very low level of overall year-over-year -year appreciation. Downtown condo appreciation will probably also stay in the 5 to 8 percent range, down from the 11 to 13 percent we saw last year. So what's a terrific way to make your first baby step into Toronto's real estate market and find out where those more affordable choices are? The best first step is to go on a market experience tour of condo or house neighborhoods with one of our team members. Leave your checkbook at home. What a tour is not intended to do is show you homes with the intention that you'd immediately buy one. What it is intended to do is give you an opportunity to get a clearer idea of what's available on the market in your favourite parts of the city and in your price range without worrying about being pressured into having to make an immediate buying decision. Once you've had your tour, we want you to go back home and think about what you saw. You'll then be better able to set up a good home buying plan and make smart, educated decisions about where and when you want to be in your new home. You can sign up for your condo tour at marketexperiencetour.com and a tour of houses at dailytorontohometours.com. Remember to check back here in early April for our March 2019 Toronto Real Estate Market Report.